Alright guys, so before the video starts, I am really sorry that this video was one day late. Some things came up and I just couldn't upload the video on Saturday. But here it is, I hope you will enjoy it, let's roll the clips. Hello everybody and I wish you very very welcome back to another Top Press video. To start off today's video we have two uh, events finishing and we did decently in both of them so let's check out what we got from them. Uh, starting off we have the Renaissance. Okay so maybe we didn't do really really good in this one. We got rank 39. It's at least an aluminum pack. I said did decently. I hope I said did decently because I did decent. So we have an aluminum pack here. And it's a Fiat Bar for Ali, which is now 18 RQ, which I think is way too much for it. Uh, but I don't have one, so I will keep it. But I won't probably work on it right now, but I will definitely keep it. Then we have the American Nightmare. We got plus 10 here, which also is an aluminum pack, uh, rank 27. And some cash and some gold. So let's see what we can get here. We have Chevrolet Monte Carlo. The Mercedes Benz, we have the Sierra, the Patrol, and the Pathfinder. Alright. And then, of course, we have the daily event. And I think I did quite decently in the daily event as well. Yeah, look at that. Top 10 even. So that's one more aluminum pack. So let's see what we can get here. GT Cruiser. We have a Cruise. Oh, that's funny. And an RX-7. A Buick. And a Ram Dodge Ram Charger, so we actually got two super rare performance out of three aluminum packs. That's pretty lucky. And we got some really good gold there. Very nice. Alright guys, so I'm opening the third and final premium of road pack after all of those events finishing. And let's hope we can get something good here. I'm really looking for an ultra rare, maybe even an epic. That would be amazing. We have the Monte Carlo to start us off again. And then the Megan, already 10 RQ here. And we have the Mocha. We have the Subaru Outback, so we've gotten two four-wheel drives, which means this next one doesn't need to be four-wheel drive, I think. We have the CRV. Okay. So nothing special, but there you go. Alright guys, so my daily reward today was a Lancia pack. And let's see what we can get inside of it. Pontiac, Dodge, Chrysler Sabrina, an Orlando, and a Lancia Beta Coupe. So nothing special. Oh well. In four days though, there is the premium German pack. That would be nice. Alright guys, so currently there is this really, really, really cheap Cadillac special pack. You get one uh, Cadillac special pack for 149 gold really cheap. So let's see what we can pull from it. The Peugeot 504, the Grand Prix, the CX-5, the Jaguar XA12 and our Cadillac, the DTS. Okay, so no surprises there. But it was only 149 gold, so I think that's worth one Super Air actually. Alright guys, so currently there are these discounted UK 4-wheel drive premium packs, which are 39,999 cash. Uh, they are usually 42 grand for just a normal UK premium, so I thought I would uh, do this. I've been uh, um, farming all morning to be able to get one of these. So let's see if we can get something good from it. We have the Men M MG Metro, the Chrysler Pacifica, the Renault 9. The Mercedes-Benz 280G. I always say when I get this car, always keep one of these because they are really good cars for hill climb and things such as that. I would definitely recommend going 332 on this or 996. Uh, yeah. And we have the Ford Ranger Wild Track. So unfortunately, not the best car this time. Oh well. Alright guys, so we're opening one more of those UK premium packs that are currently ongoing. Let's see what we can get here. The 300, the Cosmo, the PT Cruiser, ugliest car in the world, the Fiat Panto, hmm. and finally the Ford Ranger. So yet another absolutely dreadful car. Oh well. Alright 
Okay, so some event finished and let's see what we got. First off, we have the daily event. I don't know if this is the only event we have, uh, but I got rank 42 here, which is a steel pack, so I would show you in case we get something out of the ordinary. Oh, look at this steel pack. Uh, and the Yunus here, an Impala, and Punto. This was a very good steel pack. That was almost like an aluminum pack, you know? Interesting. Yeah, that was it. Alright guys, I'm opening two carbon fiber packs. I'm opening a normal carbon fiber and I'm also opening an American Dream carbon fiber. Let's see what we can get. This is very, very interesting. The American Dream carbon fiber. I don't think I've ever opened one of these, if I remember correctly. We have the Escalade. We have the Acura. The Ford Escort Rally Spec, good car, I do have one, but I might keep another one actually. The Chrysler 200, mm, it's an alright ride, it's not very special. And the Corvette Grand Sport, I'm actually missing this car. So even though it's just an ultra rare, I'm quite alright with that. Yeah, and now for the regular carbon fiber. We have the Citroën XM, the Ford Puma, the Arc 7, we have the IROX, and the Cadillac CTS-V. Interesting. Is this car any good? I think it might be. Another American Dream car, even though I didn't open an American Dream carbon fiber. Interesting. Oh well, that was it guys. Alright guys, so I'm opening one more of these UK 4 wheel drive premium packs. Hopefully that can hold something good. And not another SUV. We have a Pontiac Piero, a Honda CRZ, the Camaro, the carrier car, not very good. And the Jaguar XA12, 1968, interesting. And another SUV. Oh well, screw me I guess. Alright guys, so two events have finished and I'm going to look what we got. Uh, I didn't do very well in any of them. As you can see the missing piece here, we got zero score, uh, place 51, which is only a steel pack and I am afraid that's exactly what happened with the daily event as well. Oh, we got another Honda Beat, very nice. I'll definitely keep that, that will be my third Honda Beat. Very good low RQ car to have. If you don't have it already, you should definitely keep it if you get it. Um, that's why it's good to get these trash packs sometimes, because you can be pleasantly surprised by a low RQ good car. This pack though is not looking promising. Nope, nothing good here. Oh well. That was it. Alright guys, so I have 41,000 cash, which means I can open one more of these UK 4 wheel drive premium packs. So far I've opened three and gotten three bad cars. So let's see if the fourth one can hold something exciting. Who knows? We got the Alfa Romeo 33. And the Ford Ranger, once again, absolute crap. Oh well, unlucky I guess. Alright guys, so that was all I had for you in today's video. If you did enjoy today's video and the contents of it, uh, I would really appreciate if you could hit that like button. This helps me because my videos get recommended to more people when you like them. You could also subscribe because as our channel grows, my videos get more put out there to many other people because I have a decent amount of subscribers and that might be something that other people would be interested in. So if you could subscribe, that would help me out a lot. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I'm so happy we have over 500 subscribers in our community. It's growing and it's really Really, really fun to watch uh, also if you are already subscribed you could click that little notification bell and you will get your videos uh, you will get video annotations whenever I upload a video sent straight to your device 
Uh, and always guys, as usual, the Instagram for Top Drives related content will be down below in the description. You can go check it out. I post some memes about Top Drives, unexpected wins, unexpected losses and things such as that. Uh, so that was it guys. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.